Hello everyone, let's take a closer look at how I built the morning routines lessons in Smart Lumio. So here I am in my Lumio dashboard and I'm simply going to click the plus new to get started. This is going to open the add page. This is where we can add all of our content, whether we are importing Google Slides presentations that we've already created, searching the Lumio library for resources, or including a variety of interactives. Notice that we can add YouTube videos, as well as templates for different types of activities and ready-made resources. All right, let's keep it simple. Let's start with a brand new page. We are going to start with a title page for our morning routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this page here or template here. Notice that the template comes in different styles with different content and different layouts. To select a template that you want to work with, just simply click the checkbox in the top right corner and then select add. And that particular slide will be added to the lesson in Lumio. Now keep in mind that this file is not only going to be available in your Lumio dashboard, it's also going to be available in your Lumio folder in Google Drive. All right, so here you can see that that template has been added as my cover page or my title page. If I wanted to, I could edit this graphic. So I could double click to change the text. I can change the color of the font as well as the style of the font. Let's leave it as blue, but we can change it to, let's say Comic Sans. All right, now up here at the top, I see two different editing tools. I have the text tool where I can add text to this slide, or I have the shapes and images. This button opens up the shapes and images menu here on the left side of my screen. Notice that I can add a variety of shapes and lines or if I click on the image icon, I can upload an image. Let's go ahead and select an image from my device. All right, once I've found my image, I simply click open and notice that that image is uploaded to my slide. I can tell that I can edit it. I just simply click on the dots to expand it but I want you to pay close attention to this drop-down carrot. Right now, this image is loose, floating around the page. If I click this drop-down, notice that I can duplicate this image, copy the image, paste or delete. I can turn on infinite cloner, which allows me to make infinite copies of this picture, but I'm gonna choose to lock this picture in place once I have it in the place where I want it to appear. All right, let's go ahead and add a new page. I'm simply going to come to the left side and click on the blue plus button here at the bottom of my screen. Again, that add page menu appears where I can add a variety of resources or templates. Let's add in a daily attendance. Now you could build your own or we could search Lumio library for daily attendance and see what resources they already have available. As I scroll towards the bottom, I see a variety of different classroom attendants. Let's grab the animal attendance. So I'm simply going to open that resource and now notice that I can choose to save to my lesson. So I'm just gonna hit the save to my lesson button, and that's going to import the pages from the animal attendance resource. Now, I ended up with all of the pages from that resource. I don't need all of them, so I'm simply going to come to the slide, and if you see these three dots with the ellipses, I'm gonna click on that, and I'm simply going to delete the page. I'm also gonna delete the instructions page. I just want 
this page and this page with more animal options. Now, because I've added this to my Lumio lesson, if I click on this slide, these student names are editable. All I have to do is double click and then I can go ahead and change the student name to the name of my student. Notice that as I'm changing the names, I can change the font, I can change the size of the font, I can change the color and the formatting. All right, now what I would recommend so that the animal and the name move together, you are going to click on the name and then holding down control on your keyboard, click on the animal and then click this drop down. Once you click the drop down arrow, we want to group these two together, the text and the image. All right, now this appears as one image. This way, when you're in presentation mode, the student can come up to the board, find their name and animal, and simply drag it over to the present column. Let's go ahead and drag that back. All right, to be able to edit the animal or the name, simply click on the drop down arrow and this time select ungroup and that will separate the image from the text. Okay, let's come down to our next page and let's go ahead and add a page below. I'm simply going to come down to the bottom left and click on that blue plus button again to open the add page menu. Now, the next thing I would probably put into my morning routine would be a calendar. Now, again, you could build your own calendar in uh, Google Drawings or Canva and then download it as an image and upload that image to your Lumio lesson. Or you could search the Lumio library and add in a calendar from the Lumio library. I have an image of a calendar that I created so I'm simply going to click under templates on new page. I'm going to select a new blank page. And now here on this page, I want to add an image or upload my image of my calendar. So I'm simply going to click on the shapes and images button here at the top. If you're in the shapes menu, just simply click on the little image icon and I'm going to select my image from my device. All right, once that image has been uploaded, I'm going to resize this calendar so that it will be easier to work with. And I'm going to click on that drop down carrot and lock it in place so that it can't move. I'm then going to click on the add text and I'm going to type in the months of the year, adding them separately. I will resize the text or the text box and organize my text. I'm going to leave this text unlocked so that the months can be moved onto the calendar as we're doing calendar together in the classroom. Next, you'll notice that you have to add numbers. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to click on text, add a number, and then just for a shortcut, click on the drop down and select duplicate or use control D on your keyboard. And then all you have to do is double click to edit the text, in this case, the number. And again, we're going to leave those unlocked so that you can move them into place. Now let's take a look at how you can insert a YouTube video. All we're going to do is come down to the bottom left corner and click on that plus blue to add a new page and we're going to click on YouTube. Now I have a YouTube video that I want to add. So I just grabbed the link from YouTube and I'm going to paste that link here and click the search button. Now a few different videos come up. I want the My Name song. So I'm simply going to select it and click add. A new page is going to be added to my Lumio lesson with that YouTube video embedded. Now there are more things that we could add to our morning routine, like what the weather is today to have the students play meteorologist to help identify if it's sunny or cloudy or windy or raining. 
We could add a math activity as well as a literacy activity or even information about digital citizenship as well as a morning meeting template that you can then write on. But let's take a look at the add page menu just to see some of the templates that you can add to this morning routine. So if I click on new page, you will see that I have lined paper pages. I have even more templates that I can select to use in my Lumio lesson. Let's go back. Here at the bottom, I have ready-made resources. I have activities for activating prior knowledge. These activities are meant to be used if students are going to have their own devices to access the lesson so that they can participate in the interactive slides. We also have activities for questioning and reflection. We have a variety of math manipulatives as well as a few manipulatives for literacy. And we have graphic organizers. So let's say for our math activity, we wanted to count how many students prefer pizza, how many like ice cream. We could create a T-chart. We could then add text to the T-chart. And then in class, as part of our morning routine, we could create a tally chart. All right, now that we've started to create elements for our morning routine Lumio lesson, let's go ahead and finish editing and take a look at what this looks like in presentation mode. So I'm gonna click finish editing at the top and that will return me to my dashboard. To present from the Lumio dashboard, you're simply going to come to your presentation and notice when you hover over it, you can either start it or edit it. I'm going to go ahead and click start. Now, I want you to notice that I'm in presentation mode. I can tell because I see a gray bar. I do not see blue and I do not see a finish editing button. Here in presentation mode, I can go through the slides of the lesson with my students. I could have daily attendance up so that students could complete attendance independently, or we could work together as a class with students taking turns coming up to the smart board, moving objects on the slide, or using the pens to annotate or ink on the slides. One of the best parts about adding in interactives like YouTube videos into your Lumio lesson is that you are not redirected to the YouTube site in order to watch the video. The video has been embedded in your lesson. So all you have to do is click play. Once the YouTube video finishes, you can advance to the next slide in your lesson by using the arrows here in the bottom left corner, or you can click on the slides and that will expand the slides so that you can then click on the next slide. Here you can see we have our T-chart. This would be a perfect activity for students to come up to the board and use the pens to create a tally chart. When you are finished the lesson, you simply come up to the pancake stack here in the top left corner, click it and select end lesson. Notice that you can click edit lesson to return to the editor to continue building your morning routine. You can also make a copy or share this particular Lumio lesson. Before we end this lesson, I just wanted to point out that if students had access to their own devices, you could have the students connect to this lesson to follow along on their device. You simply click on the little people icon below the pancake stack here in the top left corner. And at the top, you will see your class ID. Simply click on the arrow to expand that and have your students follow the instructions. They will go to hellosmart.com. They will sign in as a student with their ECSD login information, email address and password. And then they'll be prompted to enter the class ID. Once you have students joining in, you will see your students by clicking on that people tab 
you will see all of your students listed here. If you wanted students to be able to go through this on their own, you could click student to change the lesson pacing so that students are driving the lesson, or you can leave it set to teacher pacing so that the students have to follow along with you. You're the one in control changing the slides. Let's go ahead and end this lesson. And one last thing I want to show you here on the Lumio dashboard is that at any time, you can hover over your Lumio lesson and you can click on the three dots. So in addition to being able to start the lesson, edit the lesson, you can click on the three dots here to rename, share the link to the lesson. Notice that when I click share link, I can sh get a share link to give a copy of this lesson to other teachers, or I can grab the student link here and post it in my Google Classroom so that students can access this lesson and work at their own pace. Close that menu and go back to the three dots. You can also make a copy of this lesson. So that way you're not having to rebuild some of the features from scratch, like the calendar or the attendance. And finally, you can delete the lesson. If you have any questions about building Lumio lessons, please make sure to contact the MTech team.